All right, so you're thinking about diving into the world of Linux, but you keep hearing about Ubuntu and Kali Linux, and now you're wondering which one is actually better. Let's break this down in a way that makes sense, especially if you're new to the scene or just curious about what each has to offer. First up, Ubuntu. If I had to sum it up in a word, it would be friendly. Ubuntu is designed for everyday people, whether you're a beginner or someone who just wants a system that works out of the box. You get a clean, simple interface, tons of software like office tools, browsers and media players and a huge community to back you up whenever you hit a snag. Performance-wise, Ubuntu is smooth on most modern hardware. It's known for being stable and secure, with regular updates coming straight from the developers. It doesn't eat up a ton of memory and you can customize the look and feel pretty easily without breaking anything. So, if your goal is to browse the web, get some work done, maybe code a little, or just watch some YouTube, Ubuntu has your back. Now, let's talk about Kali Linux. If Ubuntu is your reliable family car, Kali is that souped-up, stripped-down race car built for a single purpose, cybersecurity. Kali comes loaded with hundreds of penetration testing and digital forensics tools right out of the box. I'm talking about stuff for ethical hacking, network sniffing, password cracking, the works. But here's the catch. Kali isn't meant for casual, everyday use. It's designed for pros who know their way around Linux and want to push the system to its limits for security research. It's not as user-friendly as Ubuntu, and honestly, it's easier to break things if you're not careful. Plus, because it's geared towards testing security, it's actually less secure by default if you use it as your main daily driver. Let's compare the two on performance and customization. Both run pretty lean, but Kaylee's toolset can hog a lot of RAM if you're running multiple tests at once. Ubuntu, on the other hand, is optimized for multitasking and day-to-day -day reliability. When it comes to tweaking the user interface, Ubuntu is much more forgiving. You can install themes, move panels around, and still have a stable experience. Kaylee is customizable too, but it expects you to know what you're doing. So which one's better? Honestly, it depends on what you need. If you want a general-purpose system for work, play, learning and everything in between, Ubuntu is the clear winner. If your main focus is cybersecurity, ethical hacking or digital forensics and you know your way around Linux, then Kali is purpose-built for you. Here's my advice. If you're just starting out, go with Ubuntu. You can always install security tools later as you learn. But if you're ready to dive deep into the world of cybersecurity, Kali is your go-to toolkit. Let me know which distro you're thinking of trying out in the comments. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching.